The Canon EOS M is one heck of a camera. Yesterday, I took the Canon EOS M out on a ferry. Uh, we left Melbourne and headed towards Geelong, which is about one hour away from Melbourne. Now, the purpose of this experience of vlog was just to see, you know, which lens was I finding that I was taking out more. You know, was it the kit zooms or was it the prime lens? Uh, so I just wanted to test these lenses out and also show you guys the quality of these different lenses. Now for the whole trip, I shot 2.5K RAW 16 by 9 on the Canon EOS M and I used this custom battery grip that I reviewed in the last video. Uh, it still had full battery which is great, had no issues whatsoever. So yeah, the whole experience was absolutely fantastic with this camera. Now if you want the settings that I'm using, I'm using Danny's build the February the 4th and all the settings have been preloaded so if you want to download them, I'll leave them in the description below and you guys can check out and see if it works for you. Now if you find at any stage that you're not liking the settings or they're not working for you, all you gotta do is just go into the menu and then reset or restore ML configs. Now for you guys who are new to Magic Lantern and don't know how to install, all you gotta do is go into the link that I've provided and that's where you can download the latest build for the Canelius M. And as you can see, it says 202, which is what you need, firmware 2.0.2. Now once you've downloaded the zip file, all you have to do is extract it and then copy those three files onto the SD card. Place the SD card inside the camera, switch over to the photo icon and then from there, all you gotta do is update firmware. Now just make sure that your camera is in manual mode and not auto or anything like that uh, in order to update the firmware, so just be cautious of that. Now towards the end of the video, I shot 2.5K RAW in low light with the Canon 35mm f1.4, so be sure to check that one out and just see how well this camera performed. So without further ado, here's the vlog. Enjoy. Hey guys, Zeke here. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're gonna board a ferry. And uh, book tickets, we're gonna go to Geelong, a place called Geelong. There's lots of boats, lots of piers. I was gonna explore that city, and just see what we can get with the EOS M and Magic Lantern Raw. Now I've got three lenses today. Again, I've got the Canon 10 to 18, the Canon 35 F1.4 L lens. It's a fast lens, you know, in case I need something for a low light situation. And I've got the Canon 55 to 250 kit lens. And that has been modded from an EFS mount to an EF mount. So, you know, I can attach it to a speed booster. So let's get some great cinematic shots today. Let's see what happens and just hope for the best. Alright guys, so this ferry is leaving to another destination. We need to wait for our one to arrive and then we can head off. But in the meantime, just gonna make the most of it. So here's the ferry that just arrived and we're ready to board it. Now inside the ferry, you can see there's lots of seats, lots of place to sit around. All right guys, turns out we're aboarded the ferry. We're finally here, it's a beautiful day. So with me today, I've got the Canon 10 to 18 with the map box and the battery grip so I get extended amounts of record time. And I've also got the Mosa Aircross. This is the first version. Absolutely love this gimbal, it works fantastic. And I'm gonna go get some shots around this cruise ship. I've been on something like this before, and it's always a great experience to go on these again. So I've just taken off the gimbal, uh, the wind is picking up the pace and I'm going to go inside just do some handheld shots and see what I can get. Now on the ferry at times it can be quite windy 
And so I like to go inside sometimes and just have a bit of, you know, relaxation, a bit of chill time. I have to say that the Kenelios M is still on full battery, it's still 100%, all thanks to this new battery grip that I reviewed in the last video. It's working fantastic, I've just attached the Canon 35 F1.4L, it's not getting much use. The Canon 10 to 18 is famous, uh, it's just a great all-purpose lens, you know, you've got the 10mm all the way to 18mm, and then the 55 to 250 kit lens is also great, with the speed booster, you know, if you want to get those long shots, and the 35mm, well, you know, it's got no stabilisation, so but uh, I've got to give it some tests, you know, to see how well it does. Um, and I can see some great scenes coming up, so let's go do some more video. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark gets only. Now I see violet, I can feel silence. And the dark's all that I see. When your stars have burnt out. And your heart makes no sound. I've also got the Moser Aircross gimbal and honestly I haven't been putting it to the test because it's just so windy outside and in all honesty I love this grip, I love holding it and I love you know the way it feels and stretching out and get stabilised footage that way. I don't want to walk around and just record with that with the wind in the way um, and so yeah very happy with this hand grip and the gimbal well I'm not really going to be using it that often. Guys, so we finally arrived at Geelong. Let's go, man. In Geelong, there's lots to see, lots of things happening around. You know, you got carousels, you got stuff happening on the beach, beach parties, and stuff like that. And so, you got to really make the most of your time. Alright, so I've just been shooting with the Moser Aircross and it's been working fantastic with the Canon 10 to 18mm. There are some shots that I can't get because the 10 to 18 is too wide. And so I'm going to switch over to the Canon 55 to 250 IS STM, put on a speed booster and get some close in shots.
All right, guys, you probably can't see me. The sun's shining right at me, but uh, yeah, switch over to the Canon 35mm f1.4. Gonna give it a second chance and get some portrait shots of what I'm seeing right here. Alright guys, so it turns out we have only one hour of shooting left before we have to get back on the ferry and then back to Melbourne. So, you know, I've equipped the 55-250 to and I just want to really, really frame my shots properly and get just the nice scenery over here with 2.5k raw video. So, let's make the most of this time that we have left. Alright guys, the ferry is leaving, it's time to board. I'll talk about my experience and then we might head to the city and get some low light shots because it's getting dark. Let's go. We finally made it on board. We're about minutes away from just this ferry leaving so we made it on time, thank goodness. From afar we can see some city buildings which means that we're closer to Melbourne. Alright guys, so we've just come off the ferry and now we're heading over to the city where I'm going to test the Canelius M and the 35mm f1.4 Allens. I knew I had some use for it today, it's getting quite dark and we're going to head to the Crown Casino, get some low light footage. Let's go.
All right, guys, that concludes the test and this overall vlog. What do you guys think? Which was your favorite lens? I mean, the Canon 35 f1.4L is fantastic. It's beautiful wide open. It's got beautiful colors, sharpness, detail, all that stuff, great in low light. But I have to say, I had more of a pleasure shooting with the Canon 10 to 18 and the Canon 55 to 250. Those lenses were just a bowl. I mean, you know, for just quick run and gun situations, stabilization, beautiful colors, sharpness is all there. I have no issues shooting with those lenses. And so for, you know, daylight and bright situations, those lenses are my preferences and I prefer them over prime lenses. So overall, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.